I hit the vintage mother load. I missed you. Vintage! Now that is an ideal day at work. Guys, today we have a vintage, what well, kind of vintage? This is a 2002 Maytag Dependable Care. It's actually labeled as a Maytag Performa, but it's the furthest from a Performa that you could ever get. This one was actually built in Newton, Iowa and is referred to as a Newton Maytag or a Dependable Care Maytag. This is the one that everybody wants. This particular washer was towards the end of Maytag's life. Uh, it was just a couple of years before they went bankrupt and they started putting their names on just about everything uh, in order to probably raise capital or whatever, try and keep themselves from going out of business. So this is per this particular washer is branded as a Maytag Performa, but it's actually a Maytag Dependable Care. It just has a Performa name on it. It doesn't make, uh, it actually in the long run hurt it instead of helped it out. So this washer is really special for two reasons. A, it is in absolutely perfect condition. This washer looks like the day it rolled off the floor. Secondly, this is a very rare Sud Saver model. Uh, so you can actually save your wash water and store it in a sink and it'll pump it back in and you can reuse the same Sudsy wash water on a different load of clothes. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do my laundry in this washer. We're going to um, use the Sud Saver feature and see just how good it is. Okay, so here's the innards of this washing machine and I have not touched a thing on this. As you can see, this washer just has an inch of dust on it. Here's my fingerprint. I just want to swipe it. See, all it is is dust. The motor bracket is squeaky clean. The pump is still very clear. There's no goo or gunk built up in it. And if you look in the back there, you could actually see the Sud Saver module. You can see the very cool embossed Maytag emblem on the transmission cover and if you look closely, sorry it's not super good light, but there is not a drip coming from that tub seal. This is one of the crispiest Maytags I've ever seen. It's got to be one of the best ones. It's definitely on my top five. All of the rubber is in good shape. It's nice and supple. It doesn't feel rotted out at all. All the hoses are in good shape. Like I said before, the pump is good. All the springs are perfect. This has got to be one of the nicest ones. Definitely in my top five. Definitely. So this is why this machine is so special. You don't see them like this very often. These machines were bought and people ran them and ran them and ran them. And this is the washer that people look back on and wonder why they don't make them like this anymore. I mean, this was the washer that truly lasted 20, 25, 30 years without any major breakdowns. There were some exceptions. There were some that had bad tub seals and bearings or whatever, uh, and a couple of little odds and ends stuff that wasn't really a big deal in the big picture. Uh, but this washer uh, just could wash and wash and wash and would run and give people many years of trouble-free service. Now, back in the day, this wasn't considered one of the best performing machines out there, but nobody can argue that this was probably the most reliable, uh, probably ever built in my opinion. Inside, you see that this has the um, dual action this is the load sensing agitator and uh, the way it worked was well it worked basically like a corkscrew two-piece agitator so the bottom would rotate and this would turn it one way pulling the clothes down in the process and this was a very good agitator this was a huge improvement to the um, traditional kind of straight one-piece agitators that Maytag used to have which were still okay, but they weren't um, nearly as good. Oh, there's a little goo. We're gonna have to clean that up. Um, the nice thing about this Maytag, this particular fabric softener, is that you can actually clean it. So there's a tab here. You could simply just unscrew this bottom and clean all of this out. So 
Um, that doesn't really look too bad. If you look down into the guts of it, it's actually still pretty clean. So I'm gonna wipe this out. Uh, I'm gonna see why this agitator actually seems a little bit loose. Maybe it needs a little tighten down. So I'm gonna pull this agitator out and just kind of see. I already ran a load in this machine. And everything worked fine. So we're gonna do some laundry in any ways. I do want to clean up this agitator because I don't want my clothes to get gross. But um, we're gonna do, my first load is gonna be my shirts because they're the cleanest usually. Uh, and I'm gonna do the save feature on that. And then I'm gonna wash my work pants next and I'm gonna return the water and hopefully it cleans. I don't know, it seems a little gross to me but I'm gonna do it. I have faith in this washer. Kinda have to feel around but there's a spot, a round spot where you should be able to find a screw and you remove a little screw like that and I put that in between the bleach cup don't put it in the bleach cup because it might fall in now look at that that is really clean a tiny little bit of lint stuck in there but it's not really that big of a deal. We'll rinse that out too. But now look at the bottom of the tub. Let me see if I could zoom in on that. Guys, that's clean. Awesome. All right, let me clean up this agitator and this lint filter. We'll get it all back together and uh, we'll get to business. All right, we got the edge teeter back in. We're gonna put the set screw. It's still kind of wobbly. I don't know if that's something that's wrong, but maybe that's just what it was supposed to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be uploading the full wash videos of uh, my laundry in this washer. I did use the uh, Sud Saver feature uh, on my work pants, and I will tell you guys in the upcoming videos how it turned out. So uh, it was pretty exciting. I was really happy to do a load of laundry uh, in this nice vintage machine, especially one in such great condition. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be uploading the uh, three videos total. I did my shirts my pants and a load of whites. I'll be uploading those hopefully the next, uh, hopefully one today, maybe another one tomorrow. We'll see. Thanks again.